I live with a toy poodle one time. They're so smart. They're they're smart as hell. Like, okay, so her name was Gingerbread Trap House. (laughs) Bring her to the vet was fun as hell. Hey, what's up? It's Dre. Back for another questionnaire, like, in my new apartment I kept talking about. They have singer-songwriter with Fia with us. How's it going? Good, thanks. Okay, let's jump into some questions real quick. You've met your soulmate, but you have to live with one of these flaws they have. They overshare all the time, they overspend all the time, or they oversleep all the time. You know what, I can live with oversharing. I overshare. We can both overshare together. When you're oversharing, do you ever like realize that's what you're doing or? I realize what I'm doing. I like, especially like, I think that that's in sessions, I'm definitely doing that. That's definitely a con of being in a relationship with me. So I know that I'm that person. So I've got to defend my partner if they're that person. All right, what's more fun when you're writing a song? Telling your truth, creating something relatable, or just making a hit? I think what's more fun sometimes is just like creating and not even thinking about how other people are gonna respond to it. I have a lot of fun in sessions where I write bad songs. And I think that those are pretty crucial. (laughs) All right, next question. Uh, Chico rolls, dim sims, or meat pies? Meat pies, always. What's like the first flavor you're running to? You know what? It's a pasty. (laughs) It's like this like circle, like moon shaped, I guess. Semi-circle pasty that's like folded over and it's got vegetables, I think, in it. Meat pies to me are like, in primary school I like, but I feel like a pasty is like a little bit more elevated. I'm an adult now, you know? I'm making better choices for my health. I'm gonna ask you about some tweets real quick. Anyone who is dressing up to stay in is a cop. <laughs> I stand by that. <laughs> what, how are you comfortable in outside clothes in your house? Yeah, remember like, Back in April when there were all these nerds at like the Wall Street Journal and stuff talking about writing like opinion pieces, like we need to still have standards as a society. And it's like, shut up, nerd. Truly, what, like no one's looking at me. It's like, you know those people who think like wearing a suit is a personality trait? (laughs) They're the worst people. For my birthday, I want Kanye West to shut up. (laughs) Also JK Rowling. You know what? He was running for president. And I couldn't, I can't. So in regards to your thoughts on Arab, right? <laughs> <laughs> Look, whoever taught him Arabic failed him, so I'm happy to step up and take it from you. At Drake four times. I was a little thirsty, but I love Arab Drake. I think, you know, there are some pronunciation things that, you know, he could benefit from like a quick Zoom with me. I would be um, very happy to help. Someone tweeted, you know you're in a toxic relationship when you start writing a pros and cons list. And uh, you listed a pros and cons list of one of your exes, including highlights such as, he tells me I owe him, he doesn't like me when I'm confident or when I like myself, and my personal faith, you said this is your personal faith, he's not a good friend to others. You want to see this list? I would love to. Reasons why he's not right for me. Oh, wee! I'm not joking. At the end, I wrote, I cannot fix him. I will not make him any more excuses. I will not stalk him on social media. I do not need a project. <laughs> if I ever found out somebody was writing a 60 something point list about me like this, like, yeah, I would just like, I would just like fall down some steps. Like, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I told you I overshare. <laughs> All right, well. This was extremely fun. Like, what else should we know about with Mia before we leave? I think that was pretty, pretty well-rounded. I mean, you saw my list. I don't know what what more I could give you. Thank you so much. This was really fun. All right, that's the questionnaire of life. Uh, Yep, see y'all next time. See you next time. Thanks, guys. Plants, pets, or babies? I, I do wish I had a pet. I got plenty of plants. They don't love you the same way. I definitely don't want a baby. <laughs> but I know I, I know I would love a dog right now. Just cause cuddles. <laughs> <laughs>